We are looking dry as a freaking mother right now. Knowing that you're gonna be hungry, that's the biggest thing I say to people. They're like, oh, like how do you get over hunger? How do you curve cravings, all that shit? You don't, you literally don't. You just gotta push through it and you gotta and buckle down, bro. Like if you wanna get shredded, you gotta do what shredded people do and you gotta suffer, so. Five days left of this shit. All right guys, it is currently May 22nd and welcome to today's video. So in today's video, obviously today is day one of peak week. I plan to hopefully film like three or four days of this peak week for you guys, show my peak week plan. I will drop like the show day video afterwards sometime. I wanna make that video super good for you guys. So if that takes me a little bit longer, then please bear with me, but I cannot believe it's peak week right now. <laughs> this is crazy. We've been dieting for basically 18 and a half weeks and this is the last Last week this is the 19th week cardio is still the same as of right now as of my knowledge at least and yeah carbs are zero protein is still around like 230 and fats are around like 45 to like 47 somewhere around there I'll give you guys updates throughout this whole video about that but yeah guys um thank you so much for just following this journey so far and just showing love and support. I'm probably gonna say it a million times in this video, but I truly wouldn't be here without you guys. So I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I will be announcing the giveaway winner in this video as well, probably in like the next clip or some shit. I'm gonna put the giveaway winner up right now. I just went through the comments and I just picked a random guy or a random person from the video. So whoever won here, DM me or um, comment on this video so that I can give you your $50. And because you guys have been killing that and just commenting as well, I'm doing that for this video as well. So comment literally anything. Okay, how big your feet are, your um, you know, your go-to hangover food, you know, your coffee order. I don't give a f what you what you comment. Okay, comment something for a chance to win fifty dollars, and I will pick the winner in the next video as well. So. My God, guys, it is peak week. Holy shit, it's peak week. I need to sip of this John real quick. So we got meal number one right here, guys. I'm gonna be living off caffeine probably and coffee for at least the next five or six days, I'm assuming. Well, five days, sorry. Today when I'm filming this, it's five days out, Brett. Come on, you idiot, man. Once my coach gives me more plans, like the update for like the peak week plan, basically we're, we're basing it like day to day how I look every single morning, I think. So for today and tomorrow, I am doing zero, zero carb, okay? Literally just, straight depletion get me super flat so that hopefully when I start to carb off I start to fill out really nicely so we have our first peak week meal going down right now we have two whole eggs 100 grams of chicken a little bit of egg whites and spinach basically the same meal from uh, the last bikini diet I've been doing T today and tomorrow is less than a bikini diet this is this is straight poverty gains at this point not even gains this is 
this is poverty at this point. And then obviously we are supersetting that with a black coffee. Yeah, as of right now, as of the Monday of peak week, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So once those days kind of, you know, happen when I wake up those mornings and we do check-ins with my coach, I will hopefully show you guys like the raw check-ins and shit like that throughout this next couple of days here as well so that I can give you guys an accurate representation of how we're looking and also what the plan is going to be like as well uh, moving forward here. So I can't even think straight to be honest. Um, prep brain is hitting me like a f truck right in right here. It's like I'm playing that game where they tap you on your forehead and you do like the 10 talk chocolate bar type of shit. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. That's that's how I feel right now. Okay. I'll give you guys a little uh, Jokic action to start your morning. Start this video. Oh. Look at that juiciness. Oh yeah. We are looking dry as a freaking motherfucker right now. Woo. Oh my goodness. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this meal right here and I will catch you guys in a bit. You rolling? Always. All right, so coach basically sent me my plan for today and tomorrow, like I mentioned. So absolutely zero carb today besides having carbs in like, like the trace carbs and like asparagus, lettuce, um, if I have cucumber, stuff like that, but that's just gonna go right through me because it's basically just like leafy greens and shit. So we're having my pre workout meal right now. You guessed it, zero carb. So I have the pan already started there. Uh, I'm just gonna do one egg. Fats surprisingly make me like somewhat full, so. I like how we're keeping my fats like somewhat the same. I was gonna have lettuce as well, but I don't wanna be too bloated for the gym. So I'm gonna do a little bit of asparagus and we have 160 grams of tilapia. I'm just gonna oil this out real quick. Tilapia, four times a day. Crazy. So I basically get white fish three to four times a day. Right now, I'm just trying to push back my meals as long as I possibly can, if I'm being honest on these low carb days because uh, I'm hungry 24 seven. But guys, if you're not hungry at the very end of your bodybuilding prep or you know hungry at the very end of your cut, you're not doing it right. You have to get uncomfortable with suffering knowing that you're gonna be hungry. That's the biggest thing I say to people. They're like, oh, like how do you get over hunger? How do you you know, curve cravings, all that shit? You don't, you literally don't. You just gotta push through it and you gotta fucking buckle down, bro. Like if you wanna get shredded, you gotta do what shredded people do and you gotta suffer. So you guys have seen me cook enough, but I'm just gonna throw this on the pan. Here, we also got uh, another Joe in uh, in the mugish here. Crazy water intake right now for the next couple days is the same. So like typically have around like six to seven liters every single day. And then if I have like two diet drinks, that's a little bit more. So let's just say like seven. Sodium is still the same. He doesn't want me to change that either. But yeah, that's the update in terms of like water intake and sodium intake. But uh, in my pan here, one egg. Oh, yep. Bam. Oh. And once that's done, I'm gonna top it off with a little bit of asparagus, a little bit of cucumber. <laughs> Four days. Come on, prep green. Or five days running. Then uh, I'm gonna head into town. I got a package to show you guys. I want to detail a couple things. Then uh, we're gonna hit the grocery store and I'm gonna show you guys a little haul for this prep week as well. Basically just low calorie. When I do like the carb up, I'll show you that as well. But <laughs> I'm shaking right now. There doesn't even need to be bumps in the room. <laughs> All right, so here's the game.
plain ass meal. We got some chicken. We got uh, some tilapia and one whole egg. That is freaking fantastic. So uh, a couple things here. I just got back from the grocery store. I got some peak week essential stuff. Basically for the next two days, I'm having low carbs. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got here, but I just got back from my polygraph test. So basically like a lie detector test for natural shows. You guys didn't know I'm doing a natural bodybuilding competition. A lot of people probably think that this is bogus or, you know, it's just a lie detector test. It could be wrong. But the guy actually told me, and I did a little bit of research. It's actually more accurate than a piss test or obviously the most accurate it's probably gonna be blood work, but I'm pretty sure you only get the blood work if you win your show. So hopefully I'm gonna be getting that test afterwards if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> But with the piss test, he told me some guys actually like cycle in and out of taking steroids like during the prep kind of uh, phase, I guess. And then they do it properly so that right before their piss test or like a month before they hop off, but you're still basically on gear. So anyways, uh, this is what we got. Basically just proteins and uh, some veg to basically fill me up. So we got some cucumber. My whole entire diet is basically just chicken, eggs, white fish and steak. So I got three packs of tilapia, actually two packs of tilapia and one thing of cod. I haven't really had cod in a while, but the macros are pretty solid. Look at that, basically just straight protein. Uh, then we got some sirloin steak as well, right here. And we got, oh, that would have been bad. You guys would have saw a very angry turd if that came out there. We got two cartons of eggs here and we got some spinach for my omelet in the morning we got asparagus we got more asparagus and we got a little bit of romaine lettuce to shred up for a salad because shredded lettuce will get you shredded basically cost me like 95 bucks canadian which is like 75 dollars i think us which is pretty outrageous because this is probably gonna last me like three days considering like anything fish or cod or stuff like this that's frozen, it shrinks. Like this strip right here will probably be like half of that. So I'll go through this whole pack in a day if I have like four of my meals with cod or tilapia, so. Diet root beer, man. Get me through this last carb day, or low carb day. It is uh, currently May 23rd, so we are currently four days, four freaking days out in the competition now. This is my second zero carb day in a row. I'm being completely honest, I feel like a bag of shit. I feel drained, I feel flat. I was super flat in the gym today. I wanna show you guys more of the gym content. I might film tomorrow, but tomorrow will probably be a medium-ish High carb day, medium-ish high carb day. That makes no fucking sense, bro. Come on. I'm cooking some steak, some sirloin steak here. Thank God I still have steak in my plan because me and steak, just in general fat, like from the steak, I feel so good. Like it, it fills me up pretty decent and uh, it kind of makes my muscle like harder, if that kind of makes sense. So eggs, steak, those types of fats feel so good with like my body. It all honestly depends like what your body digests better. Like some people, you know, function really good off having like a thousand grams of carbs, but me personally, I'd probably spill over. So I am so flat. Like it's crazy how like going zero carb can just make you feel like a bag of shit. Just wanna show you guys a couple of things from uh, the drop for uh, Young LA that's coming May 30th that I mentioned earlier on in the video. So I'm gonna mention a couple of this shit and then I'm gonna do some posing for you guys tomorrow morning and then probably do a high carb day tomorrow. I'm, I'm assuming that's the game plan. So first and foremost, golden era tea, golden era tank, sorry. Fits like a glove. I'm a medium. And then also the shorts that I wore on the gym today. Look at these, man. Got a aesthetic. I probably look like shit. Yeah, I look like shit. Shows off the arms pretty good too. Look how dry I am. You can see the striations in my tricep. I've never seen that ever. And we also got them in the white. There's like a white, black, other colors as well. There's a red, but white and blue, my two favorites. Look at that. I'm gonna bring this to LA because this is just summer vibe, man. Look at this shirt. Look at this. Button this up. There's shorts that came with it, but I'm not gonna show you guys that because this is just, look at this fit. And I also got that in a baby blue. Oh, the baby blue with the, I gotta put this on. 
Look at that fit. It feels, it feels like a diaper. It's so soft, man. Last but not least, I'm gonna show you guys this. Not this, how are we looking? End of the day, end of the day, one meal left, flat as a pancake, lighting's probably ass. How we look? Vacuum quick. I don't know if that looks like shit or not, but. Then we got, this is just, I can't believe they did this, but we're coming out with, you know those superhero compressions I just dropped? New and improved. New and improved, just hugs the tits. That is honestly a perfect fit. This is a large. That's coming May 30th, so that's not for what? <laughs> What's today? That's not for another week, but if you guys do want to pick up anything for that, code to fund my donut addiction after my prep. So I appreciate you guys so much who actually do. But I'm gonna cook these steaks before I burn them here. Basically calories for today were less than my bikini diet that I just dropped because I dropped the carbs. My diet's the exact same, but the carbs from last from last video. So if I was having around like 1500, I'm probably having like 1400 calories today. But yeah, I'm gonna make up this steak. Right now, I get 175 grams of steak, and then I'm gonna throw in probably like the rest of this cucumber. 50 grams, probably a cucumber. And uh, yeah, then I'm gonna do some posing tomorrow morning for you guys, and then check in, and yeah, see you guys in the morning. So it is now three days out from the competition, which again is absolutely crazy for me to say out loud. We hit a new low weigh-in, 169.8 or like, it was basically like 170, like I hopped on the scale twice and it was averaging around like 170. So we look kind of flat. Obviously I've been on low carb for the last two days and today we're not actually carbing up. I'm doing another low carb day today. So tomorrow, I am hopefully gonna film that kind of start of the carb up for you guys. And that will be like a two days out full day of eating or some shit like that. But I think we're looking pretty shredded. We're looking dry, we're looking flat, but that's part of the process. So anyways, guys, I'm going to drink this coffee right now. I just finished my cardio. Cardio got reduced. I basically just did 30 minutes on an incline treadmill. Nothing too crazy. 2.5 incline and 2.5 speed. So just kind of giving my body that rest and recovery now, which is so important on uh, peak week. So can't believe it. We're fucking so close, but um, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Basically the first episode, I guess, the peak week. I'm gonna do one more, and then, uh, then it will be the show day video. So your guys' love and support means the fucking world to me. Like you don't even know. I would not be mentally and physically in this condition if it wasn't for you guys and liking and commenting and just supporting me in some way with Young LA or huge supplements like I mentioned. Um, you know, I'm a broken record when I talk about that, but it's true, man. It's I would not be here without you guys. So this journey is just gonna continue and hopefully I bring home uh bring home that W with uh with a nice donut on top of that trophy for you guys. Love you guys. Peace out.